Lewis, Charles got final, St Helens, how are you feeling? Yeah, good, good, excited. Um, these are the games that everyone wants to play in, as if you're a player, a coach, or the ones that you want to watch as a spectator as well. So, yeah, we're really excited. Um, it's going to be a massive game. Um, but, like I said, this is what we're working hard for, and this is what we're all here for. How do you feel the team have been going so far this year? Yeah, we've, we've, you know, we've done really, really well, and we've done, I think, everything that we can um, in the, in the run-up to this game. Obviously, the competition format has made it some weeks really challenging, some weeks not so much. Um, but we had a real great game in the semi-final against York in terms of we learned a lot about ourselves, took a lot away from it that we can improve on and that will make us a better team in this, semi -fi uh, in this final sorry, at the weekend. Do you feel that perhaps the, the, the more challenging route you've had to the final makes you a bit more battle-hardened in a sense? Potentially, you can look at it, you know, a couple of ways. You know, has it taken a bit of a sting out your tail, or has it given you every preparation you can? There's always two two ways of looking at it, but I certainly think it's been really, really good for us. Um, we can never comment the same, but I think that certainly for us, it's been great. It's um, allowed us to take some things away about where we won't get caught out. Hopefully, at the weekend, then we can be a lot smarter um, and just generally better. Um, and so, it was a great opportunity for us to reflect on that game and review together and then put into practice and make sure that we uh, are ready for this game at the weekend. That semi final was at Warrington. It feels like a long time ago that we yeah. were pitch side at that one when you scored the try in the final. How was the oh, difference yeah. between class? It's, it's yeah. a long time ago. No, I remember, I remember the interview though afterwards now. A very good day. And it was a very good day. How does it feel? changing from player to coach. It's the first time I've seen you since yeah. you've had that, that transition, so to speak. Um, it's obviously a difficult one. Um, retiring the manner that I did in terms of probably not, yeah, I wasn't ready to hang up my boots. It was sort of, um, I was forced to retire. Um, I learned a lot about myself in that sort of 18 months, two years. And then heading into coaching, I headed into coaching in a lockdown. And then I had a baby. And then this year it's, you know, the, the one season that I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm fully focused, I'm here. I've learned a lot over the past two years. Um, I think I've become a better person, better coach. So yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Just as the girls are ready, um, and it's it's a difficult transition because I always want to still be back out there. But um, I'm enjoying it, and it's it's good, and it, it still allows me to have that um, competitive edge, that adrenaline come game day, um, and to really really support the girls, and that's what I want to be there for as a player, so as a coach, to be able to do that now as well is really really good. Is there anything you learned from mother that you can take into coaching a group of um, uh, women uh, athletes? Well, he's still young, isn't he? But I guess um, better at multitasking now. Um, I'm probably I'm probably calmer and probably take longer to make any decisions. I'm less rash, I would imagine. Um, but yeah, I think yeah, it's maybe just chilled me out a little bit. Some of the players probably still don't agree with that actually. But yeah, I do think it has chilled me out a little bit. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's it's good. It's it's, sure, it's I've learned a lot from coaching, and um, I'm glad that I've definitely done it, and I'm really enjoying the experience and the, the journey I'm on. So yeah, it's good. Obviously, you came up against Saints in the grand final last year yeah. in front of the big crowd at, at Headingley. Yeah. What have you learned from that experience of going up against a, a really good side last year? Um, I think I think for us as a, as a group, we've you know we've learned that we don't want to feel like that again. Um, but I think that actually, you know, we had a pretty tough hand dealt last year. Like we didn't have a start in. I don't think we had that starting 17 that we would choose to play, so it was always really difficult. I feel like we went into, went into that game with our backs against it anyways. Um, so I think that you know this weekend's going to be definitely different in terms of having a, a different air of confidence about us because we have you know got you know a big squad to choose from. There's going to be you know more than a handful of players missing out, whereas last year I think there might have been one or two, and um, just given the fact that on the back of the COVID year we had so many injuries. Um, so yeah, we, we learned a lot from it, but I think for us, whether it's starting well or playing well for the full 80, we know we've got to be more consistent, and um, that's certainly something we learn. You, you've brought in a number of players, not least uh, another former woman of stealing, yeah. Georgia Rocha, alongside Courtney yeah. Winfield Hill. How do you feel that partnership's developing, and well, I guess it's something that's going to grow week in Yeah, week it is. Look, they've only played one game together against uh, York in the semi-final, um, but what they both bring is passion, um, quality and, and, and professionalism. Um, and just an air of unpredictability and a great kicking game if you want to add that as well um, so yeah it's exciting watching them week in week and they'll just be looking forward to getting out there again together this weekend but you know adding Georgia to the to the, to the group has been great for us in terms of you know I probably don't feel like everything's got to come through her now and as a team playing against us know that it's not all going to come through Courtney so they've got to be you know, they've got to be switched on at both sides of the rook, across, fully across the field, and we've got threat all over, and that's what we needed. Um, I think last year we were pretty poor attacking, um, and adding Georgia to, to support Courtney has certainly meant that we can look to improve that this year. I've only seen you play once on TV this year. Hannah Butcher appears to have 
made the move to 13 yeah. really well so far. Yeah, and you know, she's not, you know, whether we play her at, you know, she's played all over this season so far. She's played 13 second row centre. The thing with Hannah is she just runs hard, she tackles hard, and she's an absolute workhorse. Um, she's one of them players that you've got to have on your team list, um, and she's massive for us. So that were a, a way of keeping her. She didn't want to play half. I think it was too much thinking when her natural game is to go out there and tackle hard and run hard, and she's really enjoyed doing that. Um, it's giving her a bit of a lease of life and another 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 pickup. So yeah, she's enjoying her rugby, and we're enjoying her having her in that squad. So it's good. Should be a, a bumper crowd here. Saturday, obviously Saints men play after Saints women, so yeah. there should be plenty of uh, away support. But you're hoping plenty of Leeds people come down and watch the game as well. Yeah, we just said that. Obviously in Leeds, we hope there's a lot, a lot of Leeds fans um, come down, whether that's football or rugby. Um, but also then with Saints, yeah, hopefully that their their travelling fans um, come in early on and make sure that they catch our game at 12 o'clock. Because the more we get in, the better it is for those watching on TV, the better for those watching here, and certainly better for the players playing in the game. So yeah, hopefully a, a big crowd. Finally, a lot have been made about Saints hairstyles coming into this one. Anyone, anyone in Leeds preparing anything special? We've been told before oh, about some, some old proper used to play for you saying what the oh, play that, uh, that, like that, 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 that statement comes from uh, Shona Hoyle. She said, look, if I look good, I play good. Um, I mean, it's just like um, uh, a hair salon on the bus having the change of rooms before a game. They're all putting the French plaques in and stuff like that. Um, I mean, some of them do, some of them don't. I don't think we have anyone who's their hair is extravagant. I think she's referring to the Paige Travis plaits, maybe. I don't know if anyone else has plaits like that in their team, but look, as long as it's not in your eyes, it's all right, innit? So, we're not that bothered, I don't know. The girls do the the, the French plaits, whatever they do. For me, it would just like, get your hair up and let's go, but yeah. And whatever happens, the rugby will be doing the talking for the 80 minutes. Like you'd hope so, yeah. (laughs) Unless there's a controversial hair pull, but God, I hope I haven't put anything uh, out there now.